Nelson Teich stepped down as Brazil's Minister of Health after just weeks in the job. As he and President Jair Bolsonaro became increasingly at odds on how to deal with the coronavirus pandemic. Bolsonaro repeatedly criticized his minister as too timid in his efforts to reopen the economy. The last straw came after the president issued a decree declaring gyms and beauty parlors essential businesses without consulting him. But in his farewell press conference, Tage refrained from criticizing the president. Life is made of choices, and today I chose to leave. I tell you that I gave the best of me during the period I spent here. It's not a simple thing to lead a ministry like this one in such a difficult time. Tage is the second health minister to leave his post since the start of the crisis. His predecessor, Luis Enrique Mandetta, was fired in April for resisting Bolsonaro's promotion of an unproven drug to cure COVID-19 and his unwillingness to impose social distancing orders. All this happening as Brazil passes France and Germany in the number of confirmed cases and the daily death tolls keeps getting higher. The governor of the state of Sao Paulo, where a lockdown remains in place despite the president's wishes, has renewed his attacks on Bolsonaro. President Bolsonaro. President Bolsonaro, remember that so far 14,000 Brazilians have lost their lives. We are not in a game. We are facing a serious crisis of health, life and the economy. But if Brazil's situation seems increasingly dire, it doesn't look much better in Mexico, where infections are growing at the fastest rate since the start of the pandemic. Despite that, President López Obrador announced a partial reopening starting on Monday, assuring his people that the peak in infections has been reached. Yeah. In... We are at the point where we are beginning to have fewer cases, but we have to be careful and not take it easy. On Friday, clowns appeared at various Mexico City metro stations, making sure passengers wear a mask, wash their hands and maintain social distancing. But what's clear across the region, as Latin America enters the worst phase of the pandemic, is that this is no laughing matter. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera. Paulo Sotero is from the Woodrow Wilson Center in Washington. He says that Brazil could soon become the second most infected country in the world. Uh, Bolsonaro will not change his attitude. He cannot do it. He is incapable of understanding uh, the severity of this. He thinks it's all a ploy against him. Uh, and uh, the fact of the matter is, however, that Brazil is headed in a very awful direction. Brazil could become, in a few weeks' time, the second largest COVID country in the world, uh, in the slums of Rio, in the slums of Sao Paulo, and of, of other major cities in Brazil that happens to have 300 and 210 million people, uh, you know, this is could be catastrophic, is already catastrophic in cities like Manaus, the heart of the Amazon, and uh, uh, the man doesn't seem to understand this. Uh, hopefully someone near him will be able to explain the severity of the crisis to Mr. Bolsonaro.